us about like how CAD is different in Indians. Estimates indicate India accounts for approximately 60% of the world's hard burden despite having less than 20% of the world's population and it tends to occur earlier in Indians as compared to the western population and with higher mortality rates. As you can see here like majority of the deaths in this million death study was because of cardiovascular disease much more than cancers and diarrhea or infective causes of death. So you've heard uh, that the GRADE approach is used for rating quality of evidence in systematic reviews and guidelines and uh, strength of recommendations in guidelines. There are two components that we are rating when we use GRADE. Clearly, the recommendations are informed by the evidence and you will make a strong recommendation when benefits clearly outweigh the downsides of treatment or when the downsides of the treatment clearly outweigh the benefits. So we'll talk of the evidence practice gap and this is the major area of interest to all of us that uh, how do we uh, uh, fix or we fix this gap, which is very important, not only in our country, but all over the world. Peer studies showed that the risk factors, the inter-heart risk score was lower or lowest in low-income countries. This includes India, Pakistan, and some countries in South Asia, and a couple of countries in Africa. Contrary to usual belief, the mortality was much more in the rural population of India as compared to the urban population. So clearly there is a paradox and this paradox was highlighted earlier low risk factor high cvd mortality how well are we applying this evidence and um, how, what are the gaps in uh, application of these recommendations or evidence you have a very low um, rates of cardiac prehab here as you can see on the slide this is from a study which was recently published there is um, a need to have many more centers the uh, there is only one cardiac rehab spot available for every 360 patients so you can imagine um, that nobody has paid attention to this there is also a lot of misinformation which is around there's a doctor google available in each house and if you come from an illiterate background, Dr. Google comes into play much more strongly and you'll be misinformed and you'll be doing a lot of things which you're not supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm.